Fister coming at you. Uh, quick little update video here. Um, you know, we just recently got some pretty big news as uh, as far as Call of Duty and the Xbox and PlayStation world are concerned. Um, as most of you have probably heard already, um, the exclusiv exclusivity, however you want to say that, of uh, Call of Duty is actually switching over to PlayStation 4. Um, this is pretty huge in the gaming world. I, I have to say this is probably one of the biggest game changers I've seen in gaming uh, in a very long time. I uh, honestly can't think of anything that would compare to it. Uh, this is huge, you know. Uh, competitive Call of Duty playing has predominantly been on Xbox. All Call of Duty tournaments have been held on Xbox, you know. Um, game Battles does support PlayStation, but there really isn't that big of a pool of you know, any kind of professional or semi-professional players on PlayStation, uh, most of them play Xbox. And, you know, some people can argue that, oh, they play Xbox because that's where the competitive players are. And fair enough, I'll give you that. You know, there are a lot of people, and I know a few, that only play on Xbox because that's where the competition is. So, are we going to see a huge switch in, you know, competitive players uh, going from one console to the other? Um, that's still yet to be seen. Uh, MLG has yet to announce whether or not uh, they're going to stick with Xbox or PlayStation. Um, honestly, I don't see any reason for them to switch to PlayStation because the only thing that's really changing is who gets the DLC first. And up until this year, MLG has never used an, a uh, DLC map in competitive. So, you know, we could be seeing an interesting trend here in, in major changes as far as MLG is concerned. Um, you know, especially as it comes to the forefront of you know, the world, not just the gaming community anymore, so I really, I really don't know what to say, you know, there's a lot of things that can happen here in the near future, and uh, I'm actually very interested to see what goes on, because there's a lot of things here that could change the future of competitive gaming, you know, for good, so, you know, everybody stay tuned, uh, be sure to leave a like and a uh, comment in the video, tell me what you guys think, you know, personally, when it comes to consoles, I'm an Xbox fan, I like the controller better, I've always thought it was smoother, you know, I've always been a fan of Xbox Live over PlayStation Network. Um, say what you will about the party system being messed up on Xbox, which, I mean, nobody can deny, you know, the party system is broken. But PlayStation 4 just now got a party system, so yeah, I, I'm really still partial to Xbox. Call me a fanboy, say it's my opinion, say I'm an idiot, you know, it, that's what I like, and I can't, you know, not going to be able to change that, so... Uh, like I said, tell me what you guys think, you know, be sure to leave a comment, share this video, you know, I want to know what everybody thinks about this, you know, I, I don't think it's that bad of a thing, um, it's good for Call of Duty to stretch its wings and, uh, you know, kind of maybe move over to another platform, maybe it will do better for them, maybe it'll challenge them more, maybe it'll absolutely suck and they'll, you know, Activision will realize they should have paid attention to what happened to Destiny, maybe they won't. So, anyways, guys, I uh, hope you guys have an awesome day, and uh, we'll see you next time.